Hey y'all, happy Motivational Monday. I got my plaid shirt on, the weather is gorgeous. We'll probably have a week of fall and then we'll go back to being hot again. But it is, I'm just soaking it up. I'm soaking up every opportunity I can of some, some wonderful weather we're having here. But I wanted to motivate you today on a few things about prayer and opportunities and saying what you need to say. So here we go. I'm taking these cues from a sermon that my pastor preached yesterday, and he's been preaching on Colossians the past month or so, over a month, and it has been so, so good. I love it. And so let me read with you real quick from Colossians 4, um, verse 2 through 6. So stick with me and I'm going to pull out some little things real quick because I want to motivate you in some areas this week and it's going to get you going. And so here we go. Listen up. It says, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. If you know me and you follow me long enough, prayer is huge in my life. I mean, I'm walking all day long and talking to God. And whenever we're talking to God, that's praying. It doesn't have to be, oh, thou heavenly father. It doesn't have to be so um, ritual. You don't want it to be a ritual. You want it to come from the heart. And in here, it tells us to make sure that you are thankful. Thankful. Start it out with um, thanksgiving in your prayer because we have much to be thankful for. So here we go. Devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Pray for us too that God will give us many opportunities to speak about his mysterious plan concerning Christ. That is why I am here in chains. Pray that I will proclaim this message as clearly as I should. So let me back it up real quick, real quick. So Paul, he's in chains. He's, it doesn't matter where he is. He's not saying, please get me out of these chains and out of jail. He's like blooming where I am planted. Let me bring glory to God in whatever situation that I'm in. And he's praying for others. That's what I want to encourage you to do as well. So pray that you will bloom where you are planted and that for God will get the glory through all of the opportunities that you're going to be given. Continue on with the verse five. Live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity. That's another thing. I, I think a while back I mentioned about how when you pray that God gives you an opportunity to shine for him, get ready because he does give you the opportunity. And let me just tag in there too. When you pray for the opportunity, go ahead and say, and God, give me the words that I need to say. Because a lot of times we feel like I can't say anything. I am not equipped. I don't know what to say, but God will give you the words. Just be the tool that God wants you to be and let him be the, um, the carpenter. It says, let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. So here we go. I want you to make sure you pray before you do and say anything throughout your day, throughout your day. Pray for those opportunities because God's going to give them to you and you're going to be ready whenever you are prayed up and bathed in the prayer and the Holy Spirit is going to come through you. I know every time I open the word of God, I'm like, God, just speak to me and through me and let me be used by you. Speak to me and through me and he will. He really will speak to you and through you, but you got to open up his word because that's where he is breathing right there. Then also my husband and I, even just, I think Friday night, we had a fire going and, and we listened to the radio and we listened to the music and we had John Mayer going and there's a song that we just love. It's called say what you need to say. And I believe for my husband, it became really relevant for him when, when his, we lost his mother and, um, because you always want to make sure that you say what you need to say and say, I love you and, and, um, and let your words be gracious like the Bible tells us to. But I'm just going to pull out some quick little things that I have written over the notes, whether it was this past Sunday sermon or a Sunday before or another sermon. But this is good, y'all. Good stuff. So listen up. It says, it matters what you say when you say it, how you say it, and why you say it. 
That's good. It matters what you say, when you say it, how you say it, and why you say it. And then also, the preacher mentioned this. One person will read the Bible. This is, he said, this has been heard or said. One person would read the Bible, but 99 people will read the Christian. So what, what is your life saying about your walk with Jesus? What is your life saying about you being a Christian, a little Christ? Um, I hope it's good. I hope that it's good because we need to make sure that people are seeing Jesus in us and through us and be real. We're not perfect. We all fail at times and we say things and do things we shouldn't, but how are we going to react to those things when we do screw up pretty good? How are we going to respond to those situations and rise above and keep our eyes focused on God? Because people are watching. Oh, I think that was even the name. Yeah, yesterday's sermon was Everybody's Watching, and they are. A couple other things I wanted to um, mention to you. It says, let prayer come as natural to you as breathing. We need to breathe, and we need to pray. We need to breathe and need to pray. And then also it says that we need to take the high road and always speak with grace. Pray before you speak. So, there you go. I want to motivate you to pray. I want to motivate you to pray for those opportunities because God's going to give them to you. And I want you to pray that you say what you need to say and let it be full of grace. Happy Monday and watch this over and over again because there was a lot of information packed into this that I want you to hear again and again and slowly take it out and meditate on that and let it marinate in your bones because it's some good stuff. It's not from me. It's from God. And so thank you for soaking up the sun. Thank you for sharing God's love through your um, words through your deeds, and even sharing this video with others. Because who knows, somebody needs to hear this. Y'all have a wonderful week ahead. And oh, get out and enjoy the weather. And I hope you have some great weather where you are. If not, there's good weather coming. Take care. Bye.